Tower of Fantasy is an MMO that has some of the best graphics in the gaming industry created in Unreal Engine 5, and sometimes they can be bad for your gaming experience if you are not playing on a high-end PC and mobile devices. Most players will be able to enjoy leveling, but the problem starts when they engage in big combats where there will be a lot of different effects. Those effects will slow down your FPS dramatically, and they can crash your devices, so it is important to know how to optimize and increase your FPS so you can enjoy the game. Windows Settings First, you will need to search Game Mode in the search bar and press Enter. Make sure that the Game Mode is activated so that you will get decent performance. You have to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you are playing. After that, go to this box Game Bar under Gaming. You have to deactivate this one as this is causing stuttering and crashing in some games. Now go to Captures under this box and make sure that the background recording and the audio recording are set to off. After that, make sure that the auto-upgraded GPU setting is turned on. After that, input energy in your search bar to open the energy plan. Then go to Power Options and make sure that you are running something like Balance or High Performance. Now you have to go to Intelligence List Cleaner as it will help you if you don't have a lot of RAM on your PC. It will free memory and will optimize your standby list. Input half of your total memory in the free memory column and then press Start. It will run automatically, so you need to minimize it now. I will leave a link to the official website of the program in the descriptions. Optimize graphics settings in Tower of Fantasy. Now boot up your game and go to Settings. You have to go to Settings and then navigate to Basic. Go to Camera Preference and make sure that your camera vibration and discharge skill animation are off, it will stabilize your FPS and will give you a better screen experience. After that, go to Display Preferences and turn on the Show FPS option, because you have to know that if you change any setting in the game, you know that your FPS is increasing or decreasing. Now go to Display Settings, keep the screen settings to Custom, and set the same screen wanderer to 14. After that, go to Advanced Settings and for Texture, if you have 4GB or more of RAM on your GPU, then you can definitely play at the extreme. You can keep this according to your PC specification. For Material, Quality keeps this in a medium position, as this will give you a 4% boost in the FPS and keep vegetation details to a low position. You will need to set anti-aliasing to none as it will give you a nice 6% boost in your FPS. Unlock your FPS to 120 if you have a nice refresh rate monitor, but in case you are playing on a laptop and you have a thermal issue, then you need to keep your FPS to 60, as it will stabilize your FPS. The last one is shading if you are playing on a very old computer and integrating GPU, then you need to set the shading at the off position. And in case you have a mid-range computer, then you can turn it off, but it's better to keep it off as it reduces FPS by 2%. Delete temp files. While you think that emptying the recycle bin will clean your entire PC with useless files. You are wrong because apart from the recycle bin, there are temp files in Windows Drive that are very hard to locate. Subsequently, if you are playing Tower of Fantasy on SSD and there are useless files like these, you have to make sure they are removed because these files are often virus infected, causing severe instability to the drive. Open Start, Type Run. Once opened, enter %temp% and click OK. In temp folder, click on Ctrl plus A to select all, right-click the file and delete them. Sufficient power supply is key to more FPS in Tower of Fantasy. This tip is mostly for laptop and mobile users. If you are playing Tower of Fantasy on your mobile device, make sure your device has more than 30% of battery life. And, if you are playing on laptop, keep it continuously plugged into an active power source. Doing so will result in more FPS while playing Tower of Fantasy. Ok, since all settings are complete and tweaked for best performance and smooth FPS, we are finalizing the video Tower of Fantasy best settings to end. We hope that you will achieve the goal of a smooth FPS 8 productivity, using the settings we told. However, if you feel there is something else we can tweak to improve performance further, please let us know via the comments section below. On this channel you can also find a few more useful videos to help you improve your FPS, go to the channel and watch new videos.